I'm going to show a video of, you know, a few things that, that I read in a contract with Uber. But after that, I'm going to show you like what I do with my private clients or whatever, like as far as how one of them, only one of my private clients that I deal with. But I want to read something to you that I read in the latest addendum that came out from Uber. Relationship with Uber, 1.1 contracting parties. The relationship between the parties is solely as independent business enterprises, each of whom operates as a separate and distinct business enterprise that provides a service outside of the usual course of business of the other. This is not an employment agreement and you are not an employee. You confirm the existence and nature of that contractual relationship each time you access our platform. We are not hiring or engaging you to provide any service. You are engaging us to provide you access to our platform. Nothing this agreement creates, will create, or is intended to create any employment, partnership, joint venture, franchise, or sales representative relationship between you and us. You have no authority to make or accept any offers or representations on our behalf. Hmm. Insurance. Section 3.1. Deliveries using your vehicle. If you provide deliveries using a vehicle, the obligation in this section 3.1 shall apply. We may, in our sole discretion, choose to maintain auto insurance on your behalf related to your deliveries, but we are not required to provide you with any specific coverage for your loss to you or your vehicle, unless we specifically describe it in addendum to this PAA. We can change, reduce, or cancel insurance that is maintained by us, if any, at any time without notice to you or authorization from you. Okay. Section 12.8 your right to opt out of this arbitration provision. Agreeing to this arbitration provision is not a mandatory condition of your contractual relationship with us. If you do not want to be subjected to this arbitration provision, you may opt out of this arbitration provision subject to the pending litigation provision in section 12.2 and the limitations set forth in this section 12.8. To do so, within 30 days of this date of this agreement is electronically accepted by you, you must send an electronic email from the email address associated with your driver account to opt out dash Sludur at uber.com stating your intent to opt out of this arbitration provision as well as your name the phone number associated with your driver account and the city in which you reside an email sent by your agent or representative including your counsel shall not be effective your email may opt you out yourself only and any email that purports to opt out anyone other than yourself shall be void to any others I wanted to drop a little something today and I wanted to make sure that you know, the people out there who are looking more into taking care of themselves, the people who are out there really looking at ride share and livery and taking passengers around as something that you may want to do a career as aside from the apps, because you don't have to be on the apps for the rest of your life. Contrary to what a lot of people say, they really think that you need to be locked into the apps. Otherwise, you won't be able to drive because you don't have the permits. You don't have what it takes. Like I said, I say it in a lot of my videos. I've been doing this for a long time. A lot of people know I've been doing this for a long time. Look, look at my prior videos. I'm one of those guys that believes in who I am. I believe in my worth. I believe in my car's worth. I believe in a free society. I believe that if two people talk and we come up with an agreement, we can have a transaction. If I'm making tacos right now and somebody says, hey, man, I give you a dollar for one of them tacos. I don't need to go down to the health department to buy a permit just to sell them a taco. I'm like, hey, here you go, man. Shit, I was just taking them off the grill, man. Well, sh man, appreciate that. I was hungry. Here you go. I don't need no YouTuber running up on me. Oh, man, you can't sell that taco. If you sell that taco without a sales tax and revenue permit, you know, that's illegal. We don't deal with that shit. I've been dealing with my clients, and I'm going to show you in this video how many clients I actually deal with. Yeah, I wanted to show exactly how long I've been using this one client. Because this is what I tell people. You find cash clients that are... Or treating you right. And I found this guy a long time ago. He used to work at the Nike outlet. So I used to pick him up for work every day. That's why you see all the $20. I used to pick him up every day for like 20 bucks. So I'd pick him up for $20. Sometimes, like you say, he'll give me 30 stuff like that. I mean, it was all the way back from September 11th. 2022 is as long as I've been using them. But you can see these are all the days. Of, I mean, it was like two, three, four days a week. I was using them. Quick $20 rides. Quick $20 rides. And these, you know, you'll see a couple of them in here that's a little like the 55 is when I took them to the airport. 55 pick them up from the airport. 24th was another airport. 11th was another airport. And that was his mom. I took his mom to the airport there. And that was the last one there. 
So you can see that, you know, this is a guy who uses me pretty well. He uses me pretty well. And this is total. He's given me $627, 19 transactions. And this is just one guy. And he's a really good private client. Like I said, I've been using him for almost two years now. And he's one of those guys that, you know, if he needs something, like he hit me up today, actually, he hit me up today asking me if there's a way that I can get, you know, take him to the airport at five o'clock in the morning. He's got to go open up a store. He'll open up a store and two weeks later, he'll be flying back in. So I'll be probably doing double rides for him right there. So these are the type of clients that I've always had. A lot of people don't, I don't show my private clients online that much just because, you know, a lot of people assume that, hey, man, if you don't have this type of insurance, you can't do this type of work. I've been doing this shit for a long time. This is just one client, just one. I got a whole phone full of them. But I like to show people and tell people the potential and the possibility of when you believe in yourself enough to sell yourself, sell your services. This is one client that gave me 627. Guaranteed, had I did all these rides through Uber, I wouldn't have made 627. I might have got 350 maybe, 350 bucks total. And Uber would have took all the rest. 19 transactions total. 19. I mean, in some of those $20 rides, those are like six, seven miles. That's it. I would have probably got six, seven dollars for those rides. Imagine, you know, six, seven dollars for most of these rides. I would have came nowhere close to getting twenty dollars for those rides. And so I appreciate, you know, my God using me for everything. But, you know, people have to understand if we're going to do this as private client rides, if we're going to do this for real, we need to get out there and do it. A lot of people are just now coming around to it right now, and I'm glad you guys are seeing it. I mean, I'm one of those people that have been doing it for a long time, and a lot of YouTubers out there, they don't get it yet. They still don't get it. They still walking around, well, you guys can't do it unless you do it right, and you can't do it unless you... Man, we've been doing it, man. Shut, Sit down. Shut the fuck up. We ain't even, Don't even bother with us. This is what we do overall. Well, you can't do it unless you're doing it right. Get out of my face, man. Get out of my face. This is what we do. So if you want to get out there and get your money and state your worth... State your worth. Because like I said, those are 19 transactions. And I got two more transactions coming up from them pretty soon. So I will have over, you know, 21 transactions. And these next two rounds, so it'll be over. It'll be close to $750. $750 close to for 21 transactions. Imagine doing 21 rides and getting $750. That's how private rides work. The only reason why I felt that I should show this is not to brag about stuff. It's just to show that we really have been doing this. A lot of us, you know, we may not put what we do online all the time. A lot of people want, you know, YouTubers to be completely transparent. Oh, man, if you like speed, if you go 100, show us that you went 100 miles an hour. If you went 50 miles an hour in the 30 zone, show us that you went 50 or we won't believe you. I don't really give a shit what people believe. Honestly, I don't. But... Sometimes I would like to show the people who believe in trust in the system that I'm with you. I'm rocking with you. We out doing this together. We out making this money together. We got a lot of naysayers out there, a lot of haters out there, a lot of people who want to take credit for how we doing this, even though they don't even do it like this. They don't even want to do it like this. Well, I'll take credit for it. Man, move, move. We're doing this because we know what it takes to take care of the bills in our house. We know what it takes to keep a roof over our head, what it takes to keep a car out in the driveway. We not playing a game out here with these people. I'm not trying to do challenges at a dollar per ride. What do I want a dollar per ride for when I can get $10 extra per ride, $15, $20 extra per ride if I do it my way? I know my worth. So I'm going to go out and get my money. If the apps don't want me doing like that, then you got to pay me. Because if you're not willing to pay me, I'm not willing to play on the plantation. I'm out of here. You got a lot of other pigeons out there on the plantation. They willing to do it like that. I'm not willing to do it like that. I'm different. So if you want to get the drivers that are different, you want to get the strong drivers to say, hey, man, come be on our app. You know, we understand we're taking a lot of money from you guys. We're double charging for insurance. We're doing a lot of screwy shit, stealing your tips and everything. We're going to work on more transparency. We're going to work on, you know, understanding the value of drivers being on our platform because off your platform. Oh, I can jam. I can jam off your platform. Don't let me have to talk to somebody about the value of this BMW, the value of this Jeep taking somebody somewhere. Don't let me talk about it because I'm going to get my money. And I know if I just lay down and let you set my price, you're not going to set the price how I want it to be. You're going to say, hey, Jeff, we're going to give you $18 for this ride. You're only going, you know, 31 miles. Maybe that's not what I want. If I'm going 31 miles, I might want $50, $60. And you say, well, we can't give you $50, $60 because we're charging the rider $50, $60. How about we give you $40, $45? 
All right, I think you got a deal. That's a deal. But I'm not taking 18. If they won't come to the table to talk to us and negotiate with us, we got to go out and get our money. I'm not going to sit there and work with people in this industry that are not willing to sit down with me and ask me, what am I worth? Allow me to negotiate my worth. You can't state my price and expect me to take that price. This ain't slavery. A lot of peasants and pigeons out there believe they are slaves to these apps. They take whatever you give them. Oh man, $7 for this. I guess I got to take $7, but I'm going to do another 80, 90 rides and I'm going to get an extra $1.50 per ride. You getting fifty per ride for 90 rides. You might mess around and get like, what, $135 for 90 rides? I can make $135 in a handful of rides and be done. I ain't got to do 90 rides because I know my value. 